In the wake of the mass shooting in Maine last month, our state's attorney general is now offering red flag training for law enforcement agencies all across New Mexico. While red flag laws have been on the books in New Mexico for years now, they haven't been utilized very often. Spencer Schott spoke with Attorney General Torres about this new training. So, Spencer, how does it work? Well, Julie, red flag laws allow concerned friends and family members to alert law enforcement that someone with access to a gun may be a danger to themselves or others. The attorney general is now offering a refresher course for law enforcement officers, walking them through the process of red flag laws. Now, while this training is not mandatory, AG Raul Torres is hoping all departments in the state will take part in one form or another, whether that's in person or through a video training session that the AG's office is putting together. We go through hypothetical situations about people in different jurisdictions and how that works, what kind of, where the, where the venue is properly established, what court to do, you know, to, to proceed with the filing. But the AG also wants everyday people to know that our red flag laws are in place to protect them. And if they have concerns about a friend or a family member who might hurt themselves or others with a gun, they should feel comfortable enough to go to law enforcement to see if they can get those guns temporarily removed. We have an existing framework that balances the Second Amendment rights um, of, of every citizen in this country to keep and bear arms, but also recognizing that we have important tools to remove weapons from the hands of people who are dangerous, who are suffering from acute mental health disorders. And it's a balanced, targeted, and focused approach that we think is going to help mitigate the chances of mass casualty, mass shooting events. AG Torres also adds our red flag laws aren't perfect. He would like to see some changes to the laws, including the removal of the 48 hour grace period, clarification of who can be a reporting party of red flags and add protections for those who raise these red flag concerns. All right, we'll be following up on that process for sure. Spencer, thanks.